The Pampa Regional Medical Center says they were well prepared to welcome in patients during the surge of COVID-19 cases late last year. KAMR Local 4's Jason Bridge has more on how they were able to treat COVID and non-COVID patients from all across the state. I think that that's why it wasn't so chaotic is because we had planned and practice. Twyla Thomas, chief nursing officer with the Pampa Regional Medical Center, says planning and practice helped them prepare for the surge of COVID-19 cases late last year. Local area hospitals were having difficulty getting their transfers into Lubbock and to Amarillo because the hospitals had met full surge capacity over there. The RAC had formed a transfer team and of course they were reaching out to us to accept the transfers from other smaller hospitals. COVID and non-COVID patients were being referred to the PRMC for care from all over the state, including Dallas, Austin, and Bowling, which is over 600 miles away. Thomas says they were able to control the situation because they had prepared to receive patients as early as April of last year. Once the search started, our biggest um, need was for staffing, and that's when the FEMA staff was brought in. But our biggest asset was, you know, human capital, and that's where the RAC stepped in, as long as with the nurses and with RT. Thomas said they hired a locum surgeon to help out after hearing a case from a hospital where a patient died in their ER after not being able to find a transfer. We knew it would cost us a lot of money to get a locum surgeon in here, but we went ahead and did that, and so we were able to take surgery cases from the other smaller areas, whether it be this hospital or the other small rural hospitals around here. These communities need these rural hospitals. In Pampa, Jason Bridge, KMR, Local 4 News. Some of the other cities they say they treated patients from include League City, San Angelo, and Fort Worth.